This is a very quick walkthrough for how to instantly trigger make.com from Google Sheets without using the make.com extension. As a few people in our community and on YouTube have mentioned today, they can no longer find this make.com for Google Sheets extension here. So automations have broken for a lot of people. One very easy way to do this is to create a link and to link to the webhook from that. Otherwise, you can create a Google Apps script if you want to have a more sophisticated integration. But I'm just gonna show you here how to do a webhook, which will just speed things up and hopefully get your automations up and running pretty quickly. So what we need to do is go to make.com, go to new scenario and go to webhook. So create a custom webhook, and then we're gonna click add, choose a webhook and then press save. Then copy that address to the clipboard. So we have that copied. And then within this webhook connection, we're gonna type hyperlink and then start quotation mark and then copy it in and then there we go, we have the link. What you can also do is add the link label. So the link label would be triggermake.com. Okay, and then I'm just gonna click and drag this down. Now I'm gonna go and press, sorry, I'll press save. I'll click run once on this, then I'm going to go and click this button. Now it comes up in a new tab to say accepted, you can close that, but we'll go back and we see that it has hit the webhook. So now we're successfully hitting the webhook, but we need to pass it some data that's actually meaningful for us to be able to do something. Now there's a few different approaches we can take here. The first is, is where if you have a genuinely unique ID on the left-hand side or somewhere that you can identify a certain row, then what you can do is pass that data to the make.com scenario and then get the row from there. That's the first example that I'm gonna give you here. How you do that is add in a question mark here and then pass in a query parameter. So pass in, for example, ID equals. Then after the quotation mark, select ampersand and then select the ID from the start and press enter. So that means that it's going to add in the ID to the end of that particular URL. Now let's go to, back to this make scenario, press run once. I'm going to select that button. And then now we have the ID successfully within make. Next up, we're gonna to go to Google Sheets and go to search rows. I'm gonna search that row. I'm going to select my spreadsheet. So I've selected my spreadsheet. Then I'm gonna select sheet one, which is the name of this sheet one. I'm gonna limit it to one, which is very important. And then the filter will be the ID. And then I'm gonna pass in this ID for that filter and press save. Now I'll press save. I'll try this again. Press run once at the bottom left. Click this button. Excellent. We have the value within Google Sheets. And because we have the value within Google Sheets, you can now do whatever you want. You can update the row. You can trigger an external system or whatever you want. I think based on this make.com app, you need to at least have some sort of ID if you want to reference it. I don't think you can just get it based off the row number. I could be wrong about that. Perhaps you can do it based on the make an API call module here. Anyway, so let's say that you do not have a specific ID. What you could do is pass in specific information such as an email address or the status in this case. So what we could do is update this function or sorry, update this URL and we'll say email and then select the email field, which is there and then type ampersand, start quotation mark, and then and then we'll open a quotation mark, add an ampersand within the quotation mark, and then from there you can pass in other information such as status. And again, add in an equals, start the quotation mark, add in an ampersand outside the quotation mark, and then select whatever data you want to pass in from there. And that should be a valid URL. So we can try that out now. And in this case, we can actually delete this module. Press OK. We'll run once and now we'll trigger this. It's accepted. So there we go. We have the email and we'll zoom in. We have the email and the status from there. So then you can do whatever you want with that, such as you could then search a row based on the email, the filtering criteria, or you could just trigger an external system depending on what you want. You could also go to extensions and app script. So you could create your own app script to trigger your scenario depending on, for example, if you update a dropdown list or something like that. There's you can get ChatGPT, for example, to create that script for you. But this is a pretty accessible, easy enough way that you could get up and running, particularly if that make.com extension is gone and if you were using it previously. So I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, then just drop a comment in the comment section. If you want to get way ahead in your AI automation journey, then check out the link in the description to our community. We will get access to all of our automation templates. You'll get instant access to all of these courses with more on the way. You can get support from us via our live workshops and through our active discussion boards.